Back now at 837 with your life calling today. Today, contributor Jane Pauley has been working with AARP, which has produced and sponsored a series of reports for us. She's here with the story of one man who is singing a new tune these days. Jane, good morning. Good morning, Meredith. You've had a great career on Broadway. What do you do for a second act? Here's Trip Hansen with his life calling. In the theater, they have a name for people who can act, sing, and dance. Are you a triple threat? Quadruple. Define. Piano, singing, tap dancing, acting, quintuple, acupuncture. Trip Hansen, Broadway veteran, is now acupuncturist to the stars. Hello. Trip. Bye. Such as Mama Mia's Judy McLean. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, that feels amazing. His own credits include five Broadway shows, even an appearance on Today. The real American folk song is like the fountain of youth. You taste it was so exciting. Your first Broadway show, this huge hit. The second year of a Broadway run is when you go, hmm, more again? I got rhythm, I got music. Woo, again? You do it eight times a week. It is a schedule for triathletes. 40 did not feel like 30 at the end of a show. But wear and tear wasn't the whole story. There was a sinking, sick feeling that, wow, maybe I don't love it. Hello, therapy. So goodbye, Broadway. Now cue the dog. This is Mr. Spanky. Spanky was having trouble with his knee, and he stopped coming down the stairs. Somebody said, you should try doggy acupuncture. Two visits. I came in the house one day, and he went bloop, 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 right down the stairs. I didn't go seek acupuncture. It got me. It came and found me. Tripp took a leap of faith and all the money he had and signed up for acupuncture school. I hadn't been with a big fat textbook in years. What I had to do, frankly, was they had to become my scripts. And I tap danced Fu Chi CV 12 17, Bones Bud Bladder 11 17. Because then it became like, oh, it's a musical number. That's brilliant. The grace of going to school later in your life is that you know what you need. I want to have, have a seat on the table. Mm -hmm. Trip Hansen's Act Two is a one-man show. How many times have you done this? <laughs> a whole bunch. <laughs> According to ancient Chinese belief, energy flows through the body along specific pathways. Well, I definitely felt it, but tiny needles are thought out. to remove energy blocks. How do you look for something when you don't know what you're looking for? You have to put your periscope up and just look around. Things are going to grab your attention. Pay attention when they do. For me, it never happened when I was looking for it, like looking for it. Now you've got a different self. One, to be really honest with you, the proportions feel more in alignment with my authentic nature. I still, every now and again, go pull out my tap shoes and just take myself into a studio and work up a little sweat tap dancing. That part of me is not dead. It's just a piece of a larger picture now. Ironically, growing up in Jacksonville, Florida, Tripp says the only theater he'd seen as a child was the Passion Play at Easter. His ambition was to be a doctor until his high school chemistry final, when he said to himself, well, I guess there's always music. <laughs> but he told me a show always felt like an act of healing to him because the audience left feeling better. Now Tripp has come full circle, finding a career in the healing arts. The reality check... School was a three-year, $60,000 investment. Hope you'll join me later for a live web chat at noon Eastern time on aarp.org slash Jane. Meredith? And you had never had acupuncture before, right? So that was your first experience. No, and I have to say it's a little like settling in for a show. There's some theatricality to it, the candles and the music and the props and the camera. <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll have to say, 
I left feeling better. You did. I you did. really did. Yeah. I did. And I and I also lo what was he doing for you by the way? What was he trying to do? Just relieve stress? Or? Well, we didn't diagnose anything. He mentioned something about my spleen. I'm not sure what that was about, but <laughs> basically it was relaxation. And oh, okay. I and I heaved this deep exhalation, relaxing breath. It was involuntary. So, you know. Hey, yeah. if it works, it works. I'm, I'm a new person. <laughs> nice to see Thank you, Jane. You.